G'day guys. Believe it or not, that magnificent looking bit of water behind me is the Compaspi River. I'm currently floating down the middle of it on my H2O Safari kayak and I'm hoping to catch a few Murray Cod on lures today. This is the first time I've tried to catch cod out of a kayak so uh, it'll be a bit of a learning experience but we'll see how I go. Starting off with this size one stump jumper, a bit of a fluoro green with black spots pattern. We'll see how I go. Casting accuracy won't be up to speed straight away. I am new at casting big lures out of a kayak, so it'll take some getting used to, but hopefully somewhere in amongst the cast, I can land one right up against the snags and hook onto a fish. Hello there. Wow, I didn't even see you. Please don't attack me. <laughs> I'm just going to not move and go past as slowly as I can. I couldn't even tell you what type of bird that is, guys. <laughs> see you later. Felt like a hit. I think it was. There was a big swirl at the top of the water. I just had a hit in that corner. Right, a bit of manoeuvring later. Let's get a cast back over there. Just I'll tell you what. If I do hook a fish here, I'll probably be in trouble anyway. It's going to tow me straight into that mess. But I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> Bugger. So I had a hit in that corner. And despite putting five or six more casts back through, he hasn't come back. Uh, I've just got to be careful here. I'm not overly confident in the kayak yet, and I don't really want to get towed into that mess. Beautiful. If I'm going to get him, it'll be on this cast. No luck. I just hit that bird. I'm sorry. The carp right in front of me, right there. I'll try not to spook him, I'll try and get right up to him. There he is, look. He's right there, right next to him. He doesn't even know I'm here. There he goes. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so cool. Oh, there's another one right in front of me. They're everywhere here. Oh, there was two. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, there's heaps of them. There's so many carp here, guys. I just spooked about 15 of them. <laughs> I know where to come with the corn and bread next time. One right there. <laughs> oh, I just hit one with the oar. There is so many carp. There he goes. Bloody hell. Oh! Mm. 
You've got to be kidding me. A size one stump jumper and I've caught a bloody red fin. <laughs> Will you have a look at this. <laughs> you are dreaming, mate. Oh, I've caught something. I'm absolutely loving this. But uh, I certainly wasn't expecting it to be a red fin. <laughs> How on earth were you going to eat that, mate? Seriously. <laughs> He's not even 30 centimetres. I'd put him at about 25 centimetres. He was probably, when I was fishing below the weir the other day, this would have been the biggest one I caught, but he's still not a big red fin. <laughs> I have no idea how he was planning on eating this bloody size one stump jumper. Mate, that is a pisser. You're taking a piss, aren't you? How are you going to fit that in there? <laughs> you bloody greedy guts. All right. See ya. <laughs> Beautiful cast Rowan. And I'm running it through where I took that red fin just a second ago. It's still doing my head in how that red fin thought it was going to eat that bloody lure. <laughs> That's a good cast. That'll run it at a nice depth down at the bottom of that tree stump. Come up over a snag. That's good. It's getting down to the depths. That's what I want. This little section here has got cod written all over it. I've got to catch one here, surely. Undercut banks, logs, branches, tree stumps, actual trees with roots that'll be in the water. It's an ideal territory and not to mention on a hot day, it's in the shade as well. That's the cast. Oh! Oh! I had a hit right in front of me. You bugger. Didn't feel very big. But I did feel some weight. He might not come back. Are you spew? Damn it. That was my chance, guys. It was a little cod, I think. Either that or another bloody red fin. <laughs> oh, come on. Get out of the tree. Yes. And it's tangled. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Might have missed my chance with that one. Nope, I don't think he's coming back, guys. What a bugger. So it's two fish I've missed now. Well, I can't say two I've missed. I missed that one. I should have struck. The other one was just a hit. He wouldn't have hooked up whether I struck or not. So I've had a red fin, a hit, and a miss. <laughs> that wind's just blowing me further and further away from where I want to be. Still want to cast all along there before I change sides. After reposition. <laughs> Just going around behind this island. It's nice and shallow with reeds everywhere. I want to see if I can see any more carp like I did in the other spot. That was unreal. <laughs> oh, there's one. Went straight under the boat. Didn't even see him till he was under the boat. <laughs> so there you go, they're here as well. They love these shallow areas where they can just bake in the sun and eat the scum off the reeds. There's one. Let's see if I can get him with the paddle. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> well, it was a codless trip, but it wasn't a fishless trip thanks to that little red fin. I still don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> But um, look, I plan to be doing a lot more of this type of fishing this year. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought down below. And I'll see you next time.